What's going through your mind as the balls hit you with one out in the bottom of the night? Hmm. Catch the baseball. Uh, that was about it. Uh, it's funny, right before that that pitch, or it might have been the pitch before, I was like, I'm literally going to run through a wall if anything's near me. So, uh, you know, I'm happy for Corey. That was an amazing, that was probably the coolest thing I've ever been a part of in my life. Um, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. So uh, that, was, that was unreal. Kyle Higashioka was just in there, and he said it was a euphoric feeling, almost what he imagined winning a World Series would feel a little bit like. How would you describe the night? Uh, I haven't even thought about it, but that's a very good way of, uh, of describing it. Just, you know, first sold out crowd or it seemed sold out crowd and I don't know how many years, two years. And then us obviously uh, not doing a dog pile, but swarming the mound. So, yeah, that was the closest thing to uh, I've come to, um, to winning anything, really. Can go next to Lindsay Adler. Tyler, how much relief did you feel when you helped get some runs on the board? Um, relief? I don't know if the word was relief. I was just, you know, you got to stay ready. Um, so I was just, whether it was a single, double, homer, whatever it may be, just to get on base to keep the line moving. Um, I knew DJ is swinging a good bat right now. Um, obviously, Luke could judge you behind him. So I was just trying to, with the 3-2 count, just trying to put the ball in play, and uh, good things happen when you do that. Obviously, with a ball and play anything can happen but after he got through that seventh inning did it look to you like if Corey wanted it he could get there yeah I thought so um you know I might I might get a little trouble saying this but Guardy in the seventh inning came up he's like hey you know you got a no hitter going right and I was like yeah man just keep it down keep it down but uh no I had I had a uh, right when we got to the seventh eighth inning I was like you know he's got to finish this thing we can go next to Dan Martin Charlie just talk uh what was this night like for you, you know, to start the game not in the lineup and then to come in, get the biggest hit of the night and then, you know, help help secure the no hitter uh, with yeah. that not uh, catching the ninth? I'm going to kind of piggyback up what Gardy said, I think, a couple of days ago. Um, you just have to stay ready because um, you just don't know whatever is going to happen um, at any point in the game. So uh, I've been saying this for a couple of years now. I think I found a really good routine and how to stay ready. And when my number's called, uh, I'm ready to go. So, you know, you just never know when your number's going to be called. And I'm glad I came through tonight for the team and obviously uh, secure that no hitter for Corey. As that ball is uh, is off the bat, did you think you had a pretty good read on it? Say that one more time. As the ball comes off the bat in the ninth inning, did you think you had a pretty good read on it? Yeah, I knew I was going to catch it. The thing that was coming through my mind, I was like, I don't know if I had to dive um, or catch it how I did just because you can't hear anything off the sound of the bat. It's so loud in there. Um, but I, I knew I was going to catch it. Thanks. We go next to Tom Marion. Tyler, what was it like in the dugout during the innings when you guys were batting? Same as it always is, uh, you know, I'm just talking about hitting. I didn't even see Corey. Corey's down kind of beneath, so uh, I didn't really see him. But we were just trying to score as many runs as we could um, to give Corey some some cushion. And uh, we did a good job all, all game tonight, grinding and uh, putting good at bats together. We go next to Eric Bolin. Tyler, you mentioned Gardy's line in the uh, in the dugout. W was there any other discussion as this went on that you overheard or participated in, where, where people were talking about, you know, wow, this this could actually happen? Uh, no, but actually, didn't Gardy didn't say in the dugout. He said it uh, on the way going out to the outfield. Uh, we were talking to Doug, the umpire, and he said that to me, and I was like, bro, I can't believe you just said that. But uh, no, we just he just wanted to make me aware just to know that I, if anything was close, I had to call out for him. Well, funny how baseball works, Jack. Lamar gets injured, Wade comes in, and has a huge impact on the game.